Alright. In this episode, we have an exclusive, hard-hitting evidence shot of the Steve in its natural habitat. And today, it's looking at a whirlwind. Go look at the whirlwind. Look at that baby. It is creating the whirlwind with its mind. That is the power of the Steve. And the only way to sight a Steve is to place a pearl in its arms. So today we have our expert Steve handler, Nova. Say hi. Hi. And she's going to carefully place the pearl in the Steve's arms. This is very risky, and so she's going to do it carefully. Okay, place it in the Steve's arms. And we may even get something that we can save for later. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses. Place the girl, the pearl you have, the girl. <laughs> place the girl you, you hold here. Alright, we've placed the pearl in the Steve's arms. And now, going to see how it reacts. You placed Din's pearl in the thing, and Nova skipped the text box. Oops. She's very so sorry for her error. The Steve has rejected. Oh, it did. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this is why. You never try to sate a Steve. It's actually a girl Steve. At home. You never do it at home. Leave it to the professionals. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Din. We have. Was that Din? That was Din. So we have Din, Ferrar, and Nehru. And they're forming the Triforce. Imagine that. It's a triangle. The Illuminati is real. Plink. Poor Link, he's always being thrown no. against walls. That thing's huge, by the way. There's also a plot hole regarding it, but I'll get to that later. Mr. Boat. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and this tower, which the Pearls of the Gods have caused to appear, is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men. Only one who is able to overcome the trials must await here to be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. Only then will that hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy the great evil. Link, that is what that which you must obtain now lies before you. You must believe in your own courage, which has led you to triumph over many hardships you have faced, and you must triumph once again. You must raise above the trial of the gods. Last time, we hit Orca in the face one hundred. Oh, sorry, one thousand times. Yep, 1,000 times. We well, hit, we just slapped him right in the face. 1,000. 999. 999 Well, no, times. I got 999, then I hit him again, and he said enough. Oh. So 1,000 times we slapped the old man in his face. In his cheek. His face area. In his neck. In his neck face. In his beak, beak eye. <laughs> and we did some other stuff, but I'm not going to rehash the entire episode, because why would I? Go back and watch it, you silly goose. And now we're going to be going into the Tower of the Gods. This is my favorite dungeon. And it's also, I don't know why this never occurred to me earlier, a water temple. Yeah, it is. It never occurred to me. And then the other day, cause, because whenever I'm thinking about the Let's Play, I sometimes think about things I want to say. Even sometimes I have thought about things I want to say in a specific episode before the LP has even started. I actually rehearsed the episode that we met um, Oki in, in Okami. I rehearsed that while Skyward Sword was still going. Why? Because I was so excited for the Let's Play. 
I, I don't script the episodes, but sometimes I know what I want to say in specific things, and I know what might sound good, and so I think about it. That was pretty smooth, by the way. Thank you. So the Tower of the Gods, like I said, is a water dungeon. And that being said, it has water in it. Hey! Mr. Fairy, look up. Maybe you can reach it if you move the wooden box just right. So yeah, that's what we're doing here. And I can help you here. Nice. Because these holes in the wall can be bombed. And if I bomb them... Um, is, there, is there one here? No. Sorry. I just need to know. I can bomb that one. And we have plenty of rupees for this to be a thing. Oh, and by the way, that is a yellow choo-choo. It does not... Get the jelly, get the jelly, get the hold jelly. On, on. It does not drop yellow choo-choo jelly because there is no such thing. It just defaults to green. Uh, and there are some choo-choos that are like this. There Wait, are... I thought it defaulted to a random color of choo jelly. No, that's... A, I believe that's a different choo-choo. Oh. So in the background, you can hear all the explosions because... <laughs> because Tangle's Michael Bay. Tingle's secretly Michael Bay. He is very much a pyromaniac. Yeah, and he directed Transformers. No one likes Transformers. If you like Transformers, I'm sorry. We don't understand why. It's... Uh, okay, okay, okay. I, I won't hate on Transformers without giving a reason why I'm hating on it. It's... it's pretty good, okay? It's... it's okay. The special effects in it are great, because Michael Bay loves special effects. But the story, the acting... I thought it was a little cliche, honestly. The script is just... It doesn't do it for me. It doesn't do it for me. It just... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, did, did you get what you needed to get in here? Um, yeah, I guess so. Okay, you can leave then. I don't really need rupees. Yeah, you don't need anything in here. And you don't need choo-choo jelly either. Is this room placed here just... Oh, it does It does randomize. There's a red jelly over there. Okay. Told ya. Y you're right then. Okay. Now, do but it probably, doesn't, it probably doesn't do blue, right? No. Because that's too special. Okay, that, that would make sense. Since there's a limited number of blue in the game. Not water. There's a lot of blue water in the game. Okay, where are we going, Nova? Because y this, is, this is your dungeon, not really mine. Um, I think we have to go this way now. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Nice. Thank you. And don't worry about loot. Uh, you should probably get the pots, though. You need magic. Mm -hmm. Those, those statues will come... Actually, will we say? Armos, no. right? Yeah, those are Armos. They aren't really... They aren't active now, but just you wait. They'll, they'll, they'll say hi a little bit later. I like how they're saluting, though. Mm -hmm. That's a cool touch. Um, you know, we could skip this. We could. Do you want to? Wait, can we get that back with wait, your Wait, 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 wait. Tingle quiz. What do you do to get across? Jump on box, ask, ask Tingle, or fly? Please try it yourself to see the correct answer. You want to? Well, I don't know if we can get that statue thing back. Yeah, using we can. Using Tingle's method. We can. But it's too late. You already did it. Yeah. But we could ask Tingle. That's one cool thing, and he even said it just now. We can ask Tingle to have him do stuff that that opens up different things, because I love specifics. Okay, go across. That's that's pretty. This is one of my reasons it's my favorite dungeon. But it looks like Rainbow Road, doesn't it? It, it really does. Rainbow uh, you're, Road that's confirmed. You're gonna lose it! Oh, that was close. Okay, Still. now, it, if you lose that pawn, it really does look like a pawn. It does. If you lose that in the water, all's not lost. It'll just respawn back where where it was. But the point of this is to put it in in the new place, which opens up another area. So they're almost like keys. Almost. But here's one thing I don't get: is that some of this dungeon requires water. Mhm. Mm so how does it exist? Because this area was made before. Well, Hyrule maybe, flooded. Maybe this area exists in a lake or something? Or existed before everything flooded? Possibly. It's, some of these questions you need to ask, because sometimes they it just stuff doesn't make sense. Unless you ask it. Like there's like I said, there's a plot hole regarding this later that I'll get to. It's it's very interesting. I noticed it recently. Okay, so w what are we trying to do here? Uh go up, I guess, okay. because it's a tower, right? And 
there's always something at the top of a tower, right? Yeah, and obviously going down isn't really going to work out too well for us. Yeah, probably not. I mean, Link could try. He could he could get to the to the sea floor very easily. Just jump in there and wait a while. He's very good at that. Yeah, he's very good at that. It's like his call. Oh, we're we're not we're not using the boxes here. We're not. Let's not use the boxes. I like the boxes. <sighs> wait. But I kind of want to show off Tingle. Okay, let's try Tingle. Okay. Um, now if I c equip the Tingle balloon here, get get it. You got it. I'm ready. Okay, Tingle, Tingle, Kulu Limpa, please do not do this. Walk. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> he just hops up there, very nicely. Now, how you would normally do this, if you don't have a best friend that would be doing this for you is you have to arrange all those boxes in a walkway, and you have to walk across. And they have to be perfectly spaced so you can jump from them and not land in the water. Yeah, or I don't think you can even hang on to the edge of it either. You can't, because then the torch will dip in the water yeah. and go out. So you have to do it perfectly, but this way I just skipped it. Oh, wow. Uh, you're gonna get shot. Nice timing there. Thank you. Now, we, it was actually better that we used used that little shortcut now and not back when we could have gone across that bridge because there we'd actually have to do it both directions. Mm -hmm. Here we just did it and we're done. So we're actually clearing things out pretty quickly thanks to Tingle. Look at that pretty light. It is, pr it is very pretty. I was going to say it's pretty pretty. Uh, this this dungeon though, see, it kind of gives me some Aztec quite c type feels. Yeah. The, the mouths on the walls, uh, can I bomb that? The gold and silver uh, decorating theme? Okay, I can't bomb that, by the way. So you're gonna have, going to have to do that. Yeah, it gives me kind of an Aztec, Aztec feel. Just interesting. Do you really need to blow that one up? Yes. Okay. Perfection this much. Okay, go across. It's also neat that you're using... Um, the King of Red Lions in this area. Mm -hmm. He's never, never been in a dungeon before. Isn't the Tower of the Gods um in in uh, Four Swords Adventures? Isn't there a tower? Is that the Tower of Winds? Tower of yeah. Winds. That's what it is. It's very similar though. No, not at all. <laughs> Thanks for second guessing me. But yeah, I I can't. There are a lot of things in this game that you can't really find anywhere else. I'm, I'm not talking about mechanics. I'm talking about lore-wise. There, there are very few races that appear in other titles. There are very few anything that appear in anything. Uh, now that is a bubble. There are different types of bubbles in the game. This one is a fire bubble. They're just floating skulls. They'll attack you and just hit them with your sword to kill them. They're yeah, they were also in Ocarina of Time, but they didn't look nearly as good. Yeah, they were very ugly. In this, they're they're very they're easy to deal with, but they put them in some inopportune times that makes them it makes them harder than they should be. Yeah, they're they're different from keys. They're not just an upgrade to keys. They do different things. They're harder to kill than keys. Yeah, and I think they do more damage. I think, and then like keys, they don't they they won't give up after a while. They'll keep chasing you. Okay, so if we get this torch here and wait for the water to go up and then back down, you're not going to make it. You're going to fail. You're going to fail. You failed. See, I called it. You need to listen to me more. You need to listen to Tingle. Tingle knows. <laughs> yeah, Tingle always knows. Just like Baskin Robin will always. <laughs> Baskin Robin always knows. Is that what they said in Ant Man? Um, I don't remember. But you remember what I'm talking about, right? No. Oh. When, when they found out that the main character was... He had gone to prison before. And mm -hmm. they're like, Baskin Robbins always fall, finds out. Oh, that's right. That was such a good line. Ant-Man's a good movie. It is. It's probably one of the better Marvel movies. D it didn't get much popularity, though. No. It's because it's different. It's not wor that was not worth it, by the way. We, did we didn't really need that. Oh, duh. I what? forgot we had the small key, and I can just waltz right in that door. Yeah, and we didn't need the joy pendant, and Tingle can't create fire, so I couldn't have made that easier. What if Tingle could create fire? That would be nice, actually. I can never remember what to oh do. Oh no, here. it's a trap! <laughs> Oops. Good job. 
I think I have to kill all of them. Do you? I don't remember. See, I always stay get up there. stuck stay up in there. this room. Stay up there. Water. Well, bomb them. Uh, I'm too high. Yes, you are. Wait, wait, wait. No, I used the tingle balloon. I was wondering why the tingle started dancing on my screen. You can fly now. <laughs> are you proud? <laughs> I, may, I gave you the ability to fly. Was your in-flight service satisfactory? Tingle Air can't wait to serve again. T welcome to Tingle Air. Are you ready to be aired? <laughs> Do you want Tingle to air you? No, I don't. Because Tingle's ready to Mostly air you. Mostly because I don't even know what that means. Tingle doesn't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but he'll air you. Don't... Don't you, you, there are no two bones about it. He'll air you better than you've ever been aired before. And that would be our way up. And out of this. There's a cross-shaped hole here, too. Thank you, Tinker. You know what I wonder? Hmm. Could you get the statue? Hey, look. The King of Red Lions didn't move. He didn't cool. reset when we left the room. Could, could you take that statue, the first one, the first cross-shaped one, all the way over there? How? The you balloon. No, it, the balloon only lasts 10 seconds. You couldn't get that far. Are you sure? Yeah, very sure. There's no place... Well, you could use it in combination with the Deku Leaf. Ah, oh, drag. Could you use it in combination with the Deku Leaf? No. Oh. Not while holding a statue. I wonder if you if you hacked up there, over there, if it would work. Something I'd want to find out. Finally. Also, that that's still smooth. It looks cool. So, I practiced it a lot. So if we go down the the giant Olmec a Aztec Mayan man's mouth, we'll find that he has lasers in his mouth. Watch out for the Beemos. Get my rupees! Get my rupees back! Okay, now that is a Beemos. We cannot defeat them yet, but they will... They will try to defeat us. Whenever you go into their range, they will try and shoot your face off. Now, one problem with this is that you, if you end up dropping one of the statues in its radius, it's actually pretty hard to pick it back up again. Because mm -hmm. it will hit you. Um, these have been in a lot of Zelda games, actually. They're a staple enemy by now. I think they've even been in the first Zelda title. They look different, but I'm pretty sure they were in there. Go and stand on it. I love how Wind Waker throws in a little bit of futuristic elements in here, mm -hmm. but it still retains that element of sci-fi-ness. In fact, this dungeon reminds me a lot of, of Ocarina of Time, with the floating platforms. No, with these floating platforms that are all glowy on the edges, reminds me of the Twilight Palace from that, Twilight Princess. That too. Oh wow, it does. It all totally of the glowy does. effects in this dungeon, in fact. Yeah. Ooh. It almost looks like a antithesis, an, an anti-Twilight Temple. Like the exact opposite, mm -hmm. but it still has a little bit of that theming. This is a roomy hall, and he stops saying what he's saying. Okay, where are we going next? In the flashy door? Yes. We have time. I'll tell you when we don't have time, so just keep trucking on ahead. You're doing great. Wait, is it my turn to defeat the boss? Yeah, yeah it is. Good. I like this Oh, one. he fell! So what? You can hear how upset I am. I'm clearly upset that an enemy fell to his his gory death. Jump! This really does remind me of, of that. It also reminds me of the Ocarina of Time Forest Temple, though. A lot. Wait, Get in the door! Oh, I'm not supposed to take that You don't that need with me? that. You don't need that thing. I just carried it over here for no reason. <laughs> Why did you take it? Ooh. Tingle balloon. <laughs> I just want to use the tingle. Could you have used the tingle balloon to get up there? <laughs> I just want to break the game right now. What are you doing? Oh, we need to go back, by the way. No, you don't. My bad. I'm a liar. <laughs> are we going to name everything in this game, by the way? No. Okay, so we don't need to name him? No. Because if we did, I'd name him, like, Alfred. I would name him after, like, a butler. What are some famous but? Are there famous butlers? There's Jeeves. This guy does. This guy seems more like an Alfred. We're not naming him. Okay. He is too ancient and 
strange to have a name. He also reminds me of Wario. Why, because of the mouth? Yeah. Good job, you did it. I can't believe I carried that Armos over here for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. What does Tingle say? To the strange sto statue, heart be good. <laughs> Tingle's crazy. So slow. Do we really need a cutscene for that entire thing? No. These guys are precious. They're a little bit cute, actually. If you don't if you don't look at the fact that they have strange faces and eyes and everything about them. The fact that they just follow you around and they don't do anything is a little bit cute. Like Pikmin, kinda. Of. Sort of like Stockholm syn syndrome. You know what that is, right? Yeah. Where you fall in love with your kidnapper. <laughs> Stockholm. Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. That's so random. What are you talking about? I I don't know. Um, let's not talk about Stockholms. Because if we did, I'm pretty sure we would get on some weird topics. Very weird topics, like Peach and Bowser. That hidden love story. Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop with that. Please do. Now is not the time to talk about Peach and Bowser and about how Mario's secretly the antagonist. <clears throat> My kin wait beyond the doors. Control them and guide them to their places of truth to open the path to the gods, gods, gods. Do they really need that epic of way to just put up a sign? Mm -hmm. Like, do they have to beam it out of the the ethereal plane? Yes. Couldn't they just say, "Hey"? Actually, um, they beamed it back to the ethereal plane. Yeah, couldn't they just say, "Hey, yo, there's there's a sign above your head. It's been there. Just play it, bro." <laughs> do can I go all the way across? Uh, no. I'm pretty sure you have to let go and then rehook it. <laughs> yeah, you can go all the way across. What's over the on the other thing though? I don't know. You might be able to deco leaf over to that one though. Okay, go, go. Just go through the door. Go through the door, Nova. You don't need to kill them. They don't need to die. Whoa. It's really interesting how this this dungeon is themed. <gasps> Drat! I was gonna jump onto that. Y you know how you know what I mean? No. Like at times, it almost seems like you're in a different like world, mm -hmm. or that's not a tower. Because look at this. If you look down there, there's a gigantic abyss. Yeah. It's not full of water. There are probably downward pillars throughout the uh, the area. And it's just, I, it's just just for that effect. Especially and above us as well. Look above us. There's. Mm -hmm. There's a, a reverse abyss above us. And it's just very odd. Also, I like how there's a sprite specifically for the statue on on Tingle. Oh, there Tingle is? Yeah. Oh, neat. Does uh, it flash? The uh, same color as the dude? Yes, this one's green. If you call Mr. Fairy now, you'll scare him, and bad things will happen. Trust Tingle. Tingle knows. Tingle always knows, just like... I like saying that. Robin. Tingle knows. Well, he does. It's true. Oh, snap. Golden statues. Oh. I don't remember where they are in this time. I don't know if there... No, there is one in this one. I know it. Yeah, there, there are five total. I'm not sure if I made that clear. And we will be getting them all. And there's one here somewhere, so I need to keep my eyes open. Pretty much, just keep... I just need to keep my... Oh, wait. Do you want to break this? Do you want to use Tingle Balloon and just carry him? No, because he needs to open the door. Okay, go over there. I think you can use the Deku Leaf, actually. If you go around the corner there? Yeah. I'm pretty being sure called, you can. though. Do it. There we go. Oh, you're being called? Hey. hey! Hey! Link, it is I, the King of Red Lions. I'm afraid there are some areas to which you will not be able to bring the servants of the tower. But do not fear leaving them behind. Once you have awakened them, they will wait patience, patiently for your return. Of this, I assure you. How does he know, anyway? How does he even know where, where we are? Well, actually, no, he can see us. I mm -hmm. forgot. But we can't see him. Kind of creepy. Oh, 
Oh boy. Welcome to one of the most dynamic enemies of the game. This is a Dark Knight. Or Dark Knight, I guess, is what they were going for. Uh, these have appeared in the Zelda series ever since the first Zelda title, and they're obscenely powerful. They're less powerful than the first title, though. Um, using the parry attack is the only way to beat them, as you can cut off their armor. Whoa, that was close. Um, they're armored so that they will be always facing their enemies, so their their rear is completely unprotected. And if Nova can do that, cut off there it is. She can cut off the armor, and then it will be it will be vulnerable, and she'll steal his belt. How did that even work, by the way? I don't know. How do you hook? So how do you steal someone's belt? Someone make a video of of trying to steal your friend's belt without them noticing. Please do that. I, I get necklaces, but belts? Really? Now you're just being mean. That's mean. Yeah. That's really mean. You should be ashamed. Uh, but yeah, we got a we got a knight's crest from this guy, and this is where we get the knight's crest, in case that wasn't obvious. And we need, need ten of them for Orca. Stupid. <sighs> Orca. Orca's still annoying. mad at him? Not, okay. Not um, that annoying because... Annoyed All with right. him. Sweet, we got the bow. But I'm not that annoyed with him because I I was able to get my anger out on him. But also, it was kind of annoying how much he trolled us. This is my favorite item in every single Zelda game. The bow is pretty cool. So, with the bow, we can shoot arrows. Do I really need to say that? <laughs> Did I really? No, I don't need to say that. Also, I find it interesting how normally you get you get an item that would beat the, the mini-boss easily, right? With Mothula, we got the boomerang, which takes it out very quickly. With, with, um, let's see, what did we get? What was the mini boss in, in whatchamacallit, in, in Dragon Roost? Uh, the captors of Medley? Yeah, uh, well, I guess, I guess the similarities end there. The, the grappling hook isn't really a, a weapon. But, like, the bow is not good against Dark Nuts. I just find it interesting that that would be the, uh, the, the mini-boss of all things, you know? Mm -hmm. Am I crazy in thinking this? No. Okay. Oh, and you can hear the Armos coming alive behind you. you they hear that? creep me out. They are kind of creepy. I suppose that's just the kind of the human's innate fear, you know, of inanimate objects coming to life. Animatronics, mannequins, um, statues. They are kind of creepy. I guess if these little guys are the servants of the tower, then the Armos are like the anti-servants. Are they really enemies, though? Yeah, they try to kill you. That's but, usually an indication this, of an enemy. Here's the thing. This tower is different from most. It was placed here to test the hero. Mm -hmm. So these Armos, in essence, were placed here by the people who created the tower. Mm -hmm. So essentially nothing... Well. This tower is here to kill you, and test you. If you aren't good enough. If you aren't good enough. So nothing here is really evil, except for perhaps the bubbles. Also, why are they called bubbles? So the bubbles are actually the only real enemies here, right? Oh, and the chews, the choo choos. Right? I guess. Ooh, ooh, there is that a pot over there? Yeah. Okay, one of these, there's like a, a ch super secret chesty chest. I really need to be scanning his tingle. Can I have some green ting, please? I th I think I actually found the um, I think I found what you call it. I think I found the um, snap. I can't think about anything. I think I found the gold chest or the the statue. It's up there. Shoot it. Uh, you don't need green ting. You have you have uh, elixir soup. Oh yeah. And blue blue potion. I would use, I would use the blue potion, honestly. You you kind of want to save your your elixir soup. Okay, I think, I actually think that the the gold statue is right here because he says it smells of treasure, but there is no treasure up here. So I'll go ahead and bomb it. He didn't mention that there's a bomb that there are bombs involved, and usually he does. But wait, wait, wait shoot that, shoot that. No, no, no. Shoot what? There's a, a eye. Left, 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 left. There. Oh, that. Yeah. 
Can you get that from here? No. No, okay. You you actually need to shoot it. I just tried to blow it up. I am a natural archer. What is Zelda's obsession with eyes? I don't know. Eyes are always the weakness of enemies. For whatever reason. Well, there are even there are even bosses that have like twelve eyes with the big octos. Well, you know what I've heard, and I'm not sure how accurate it is, but eyes are freaky on a psychological level. As quoted from Psych. Is there anything else? We got a key, right? Mm -hmm. Did we get a key in here? Yeah, we did. So no, there's nothing else. Okay, uh, go ahead and go go ahead and bring the the statue at. Oh wait, no, they're we're in the main room. Uh, go ahead and go to, the, like, the door or something. Somewhere safe. I'll oh, blow this up for you. Peace. I blew this up for you. Thank you. Wait. That part... Oh. What? The part where you have to blow that up can be so annoying. Yeah, because you have to time your bomb throw. So yeah. you're welcome. Thank you. Alright, that is actually going to be it for this episode. Next time in Pals Play Wind Waker, I will be going through this on my own. Not alone, but I'll be going through this as Link. Conquering stuff, defeating enemies, using the bow, and hopefully trying to reach the top of the Tower of the Gods. And, and hopefully I will get to defeat the boss next episode. Hopefully. We've been we've been tackling dungeons uh, two episodes at a time, which is awesome. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I, I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Wind Waker Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And join us next time for another... Pals Play Wind Waker. See ya!